set goals set goals for your channels just like any other thing that you'd like to achieve you set a goal last year with the hustlers corner beginning of the year we said by the end of last year we want the hustlers corner on a hundred thousand subscribers we ended off the year with over 150,000 subscribers and we've just reached 200,000 subscribers thanks to you we appreciate you that was our goal last year 100,000 we surpassed that we did 150 something or if not 160 now we've just reached 200,000 and this year's goal for the hustlers corner is 300,000 by the end of the year 300,000 by the end of this year is that achievable i believe so what is the goal for this channel, the DJ Smoo channel? Right now we're still on 70,000 subscribers and our goal by the end of the year is 100,000 subscribers. We are seven months to go. After you set your goal, you divide it and say, okay, cool. How many months are left till the end of the year? June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's seven months. And then you divide seven months by um, 30,000 to reach 100,000. That's roughly about 4,500 every month. And then you divide the four and a half thousand every month by um, 30 days. Let's do it. 4,000 divided by two. That means it's, it's 2,000 a week, which means it's 1,000 1, new subscribers a week. That's my goal. So you see, I easily just break down my yearly goal. So if I want to be on 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year on this channel, it means I need to achieve a thousand new subscribers day, uh, but in um, weekly. Every week I must at least have grown by a thousand subscribers. So what is your goal? Is your goal by the end of this year to be on um, 5,000 subscribers? Is your goal by the end of this year to be on um, 10,000 subscribers? Is your goal by the end of this year to be on 20,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers? Break that down. And when you break it down, go back and look at all your content and see the one that has been performing the most. It doesn't matter the numbers, don't worry, even if it's not high views. But the one, the videos that are performing the most, go to the analytics and go study them. And then look at the similarities between all the videos that are doing well. And then that'll give you the guidance as to what type of content your audience wants or what type of content you should focus on. And look at things like how long are those videos? What are they talking about? Also understand, um, understand um, the niche that you're in and the trending topics around the niche that you're in. And then those numbers and the graphic, uh, the, graphic, the graph analytics behind the scenes in your videos, on your videos, will give you an understanding or an idea as to what your audience wants. And then you focus more on that, you give them more on, of that. So I'll give you, for example, me, myself. Some of you guys have been seeing me doing all sorts of videos. The other day I'm talking about entrepreneurship. The other day I'm talking about um, personal development. The other day I'm talking about spirituality. The other day I'm talking about um, good citizenship, active citizenship, and all these different things. But I'm, I'm vast with my knowledge and I'm vast with all the things that I've been doing in my career. But at the same time, yes, I always keep myself up to date with what's going on out there because I'm a broadcaster, I'm a podcaster. I'm in the broadcasting space, so I need to know what's going on. I might not know everything, but then I start seeing what videos are performing the most. Do my videos perform the most when I post about property development? When I pro post about entrepreneurship, MoFi? When I post about personal development, inspirational content? When I talk about myself? When I talk about other people? When I talk about what makes my audience tick? What is it that my audience loves the most about my videos or about me that I have to put out there? Remember, even if your channel is run by you, they might not necessarily be there for you. So you probably are about something, the niche that you're in. So understand that it's not about you, it's about the audience. What do they want? So they might not necessarily really like you, but they just like your content that you focus on. So focus on giving them more of what they want. So just summarize the video again before I shut it down. Set your yearly goals, break them down into monthly goals, break them down into weekly goals, and then study your videos that are the most performing. Look at the analytics behind the scenes, compare all the top performing videos, and look at the common thing, the similarities that you think your audience 
um, is sort of like or your audience like your audience likes from those videos and then start trying it out again um, giving them more of what they want you might not figure it out in a month you might not figure it out in six months it's just a journey of trying out different things within your niche trying out different strategies different posts and remember guys every time as we keep growing our channels use your social media to market your YouTube I'll make you an example I used to post videos a lot on Facebook but now I'd rather post videos on my YouTube channel and then on Facebook I only post links although not everybody's gonna come to YouTube and watch those videos but at least a certain smaller percentage of my followers on Facebook who see those links will come and you know what I love about YouTube it shows you behind the scenes as to what brings people to your channel the most it'll tell you that it's YouTube recommendations is it Google search is it Facebook is it um, other websites it'll show you behind the scenes so for me even with the hustlers corner podcast most traffic I get it from my Facebook so my Facebook acts as a beautiful good marketing tool for me to grow my YouTube channel ever since we started this 365 day challenge it's hardly been a month I think uh, when I started I was around what like 59 60,000 subscribers we're now on 70,000 subscribers thanks to you so in a month we've achieved 10,000 subscribers that is great so that is the possibility that is what's possible for my channel if it, if it, it means if I can achieve 10,000 subscribers it means I can achieve I can be able to achieve that consistently it means for the next remaining seven months I can gain 70,000 more subscribers but remember one thing about setting goals you must always set realistic goals as much as you want to set to the moon but yes yes you must go crazy when you're setting your goals subconsciously I know I can achieve 70,000 more subscribers by the end of this year but I want to be a realistic and say 100,000 I'm definitely going to do by the end of this year what are your goals what are your numbers this is just a video of inspiration speaking about goal setting and I think you can still use this analogy as well in your business this analogy as well in your personal life this analogy as well on anything when it comes to goal setting in your studies in your degree whatever you're doing out there I hope that this video inspires you let's keep going guys there's no giving up we're on a 365 day YouTube challenge we are posting daily dope content guys focus on your niche and focus on creating dope content don't be lazy when you see me pulling out a video and just speaking and sharing wisdom um, you can probably do the same that is if that's your niche that is if that's what you're passionate about that is if that's what you think you're good at I mean another reason I'll do something like that it, you, you might it might look easy but it doesn't come easy you might be like why is it that when I do the same thing as who is doing when I'm just speaking on my phone like when I'm motivating people I'm just speaking I don't get any views or I don't get that much views it's because for me even though it looks easy it's be even though it looks easy for me but that's what a lot of people um, know me for a lot of people always say I inspire them and a lot of people even from my podcast would always say would like to hear more from you yes we see you interviewing other people but what are your thoughts what are your opinions what do you have to say Hartman? so because of my career and some of the things or a lot of the things that I'm done I've done a lot of people will usually say I inspire them which means they want inspiration from me that's why I can just pull out a phone and just speak on camera and get high views because it means my audience loves personal development my audience loves to hear from me so it's just a matter of what do they want to hear from me do they want to hear from me talking about myself do they want to hear from me inspiring them Makutaza? do they want to hear from me talking about my businesses do they want to hear from me like what do they want to hear from me and then if you track back since the last month since we've been doing this challenge you'll see that all these different videos that I keep posting I keep on focusing on different things because I'm trying out different things with my audience and seeing which videos are performing the most when I speak about what and yes obviously on the internet you'll get the most traction when your videos are controversial or when your videos are negative or when you're hating on other people but that's not the energy that I vibrate on I'm, I'm able to put out positive content and still do numbers and you must be like that some of us are ethical some of us focus on God some of us focus on inspiration empowering encouraging inspiring others and that is just our lane what is your lane choose your niche don't copy other people even though when you copy copy well but copy and and um, do what 
you think you are passionate about. Don't just do it because somebody else is doing it. Focus on your own niche that you love. Remember what I've always been saying on these videos, guys, that um, you must choose a niche that you are passionate about so that even when it's difficult, even when your channel is taking forever to grow, you never get bored. You keep going because it's your passion. It's something you love doing. It's something you do for free. So this is just, um, I just wanted to invite, uh, encourage you guys and inspire you. Um, let's set those goals, let's break them down, and let's make sure that we knock them out of the park. I love you, all the best, let's do this.